How to add order tracking page on Shopify step by step for beginners. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing great. In this video, I will be showing you how you can add your very own tracking order page on Shopify. Now what that's going to do, it's going to basically create a tab on your main Shopify page, which will basically allow the customers or users to track their orders from wherever they are or wherever they're present at the moment. So basically uh, the basics that you need for all of this is obviously a fully set it up and accessible Shopify store. So yes, you'll need to log into your Shopify obviously. And once you've logged in, you're just going to go on setup guide and complete your setup. Once it's completed, all you're going to need to do is a few easy steps that I'm going to guide you through right now and uh, just keep watching and by the end of this video you will be able to add a track your order page so first of all what you're going to need to do is you're going to go on online store now once you've gone over there you're going to go to pages so once you go to pages over here on the top right in the green box it's going to say add page so you're going to click on that once you do you're going to create a page over here by any type of name you want for your order tracking tab. So I'm just going to name it order tracking. You can name it anything else. So once that is done, you're just going to go and click on save. Now, once it's saved, what you're going to need to do is open the Google Doc that I have mentioned in the description below. So here's the Google Doc and I will have mentioned it in the description so you can just go and get it. Okay, so you need to have this Google Doc because this has the most crucial steps and codes in it that we're going to be using in uh, our Shopify HTML codes. So first of all, when we are over here, we're just going to go and click on show HTML. Now we're going to go here and down here, it's going to say tracking page script. So we're just going to copy all of this copy. We're going to go ahead and paste it right here. Now, once we've pasted it, we're just going to go on save. Now, once we've saved it, what we're going to do, if you want to see how our page looks like, is that we're just going to go on view page. It's going to give us a preview of how our page is going to look. And this is how it's going to look. It's going to say order tracking, enter tracking number here to see your order status. So that's the basic interface. Now, if we want to add the tab over here, along with home catalog and contact on our store, what we're going to do. Okay. So first of all, something I forgot to tell you, you're going to copy this link for now. Just copy it and go and paste it in some other tab and just keep it there. Trust me, you're going to need it. So we're going to close the tab for now. We're going to go back to our Shopify. Now we're going to go on navigation. And once we're on navigation, we're going to go on main menu. And once we're there, we're going to go on add menu item. So here you're just going to go on link. Once you click on link, you're going to see many of these options. You're just going to click on pages. And once you click on that, it's automatically going to give you your order tracking page. So you're just going to click on that. And once you've done that, you're going to click on add. And once you've done that, you're going to click on save. Now I'm going to show you what it's going to look like as it's saved. I'm just going to go on online store and I'm going to preview it and look at that. The order tracking tab is up here. And if you click on it, look at that, that's the interface. So we're just going to close this. And now what I'm going to show you is the delivery script that the tracking order, when someone triggers a tracking order code from their, a guest or a user that triggers it, basically the message they're going to see. Now I'm going to show you how to add that. So you're just going to need to go on settings. So once you're in settings, you're going to need to go on notifications. It's right down here. Once you're on notifications, you're going to scroll down into the shipping section and in the shipping section, you're going to go on shipping confirmation. And once you're there, you're going to see this entire body of HTML. So we're just going to go and copy it all out because we need to delete all of this. So copy, delete. Now we're going to go here, scroll up and in the replace confirmation email, we're just going to go and copy it all. Now, before copying it all, I have to tell you over here, I have this yellow highlighted link in this, what you're going to do in these annotations, we're going to add this link of ours. So that's why I had you keep this in a separate tab. So right now let's go ahead and copy the link. Let me just copy it all the way down here. Make sure you, you copy all of it. Here we go. And we're going to copy. And we're going to go and paste it right here. So when you go on 
around the 102nd line. Yeah, there you go. In the 102nd line, you can see there's the highlighted section. So we're just going to go here. We're going to copy this link of ours, which is going to be our tracking order link. And we're going to go back to Shopify. And here, right inside the annotations, we're just going to go and paste our link. Once we've done that, we've successfully done that, we're just going to go. It's going to give us a save prompt. We're just going to save it. And once all of this is done and handy, we're just going to go on preview to see what it's going to look like. And look at that. This is what the message the user or the customer is going to get once they enter any tracking number. For example, this number, if they enter it, it's going to say your order is on the way. Good news. We have just shipped out your order and they can track their order with this button. And uh, down here, it's going to show them the item they send the order for the tracking order for. And uh, if you just want to be sure, if you want to have a second assurance, you can send yourself a test email to see how it looks. And I'd recommend you do this because it just gives you a little bit of a confirmation and uh, yeah, just helps you. It gives you ease. So basically, as you can see, once you've added all of that, your page is going to look amazing and extremely presentable. For example, if you come here, I showed you this before. Here's going to be your page outlay, your interface. Just go on order tracking. Once you're there, you're going to add any type of random order tracking address. And uh, basically, it's going to give your order status. So if I add any random address and track it, I showed you the interface it will give you. And uh, yeah, that's basically about it. And uh, you can also set the theme of your order tracking page. But obviously, that's this in this place. You can set different types of themes because obviously right now it looks very bland. But you can add colors, you can add different themes, even in your alert message for the tracking order, which the customer is going to receive once they put in the code. You can change the color and outlay of that as well. So yeah, if you want to know how you can do that, please tell me and I will upload a tutorial for that too. So yeah, basically that's uh, about it. So that's how easy it was and nothing too difficult. And uh, this was the Shopify how to add a tracking order page tutorial. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video and please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family and uh, i hope you all have a great day so until next time i'll see you later and goodbye